Happy Wednesday, everyone. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. I hope you had a great week. Well, my challenge for you this week is, what would you like to upgrade in yourself? So what do I mean by that? So because life is constantly changing, we are constantly changing, and you can tell because you're no longer a toddler, right? You're an adult now, maybe. You may act like a toddler, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. But regardless, uh, you know, we change. And we're changing every day. We just don't see it every day. We see it years down the line. But we're always changing. And with that, that means you can upgrade yourself every day. And what I want you to do is I want you to make a list of, of words you describe yourself as every day. So, like, you can say, oh, I'm stubborn. I've always been stubborn. And I'm not, you know, I'm not going to change now. Okay. Well, where's that getting you? Like, you being stubborn. Who you heard of being stubborn? You heard of me. You know, so it's like, like people will grow right out of your life because you don't want to be flexible. You know, you want to be stubborn and, and rigid and not want to budge. So, you know, unless you're happy, exactly happy the way you are, then do you keep doing your thing. But, you know, if there's areas in your life that you're not happy with and you say you're stubborn, then maybe you can see where you can be a little more flexible in these areas. You know, it's all about self-reflection. If you say, you know, I'm impatient, like I've always been impatient. Well, patience is something that we all could use, right? And it's like a muscle. Everything's like a muscle. You have to work at it every day to get it stronger and bigger. So practice patience every day, you know, little bits. Like when you're in line in a market, you have to wait. Take that opportunity to calm, come back down from getting feeling... Uh, and just stand there and be like, um, this is my time to practice patience and just look around and enjoy the view because you getting upset is going to create the toxic chemicals in your body and hurt you, not the people around you. So stop hurting yourself. Practice patience. Or if you work with a challenging, challenging co-worker, that's your opportunity to practice patience, right? You know, so you take little bits at a time. You say, I'm going to, I'm going to try to stand here and tolerate this person as long as I can because I'm practicing my patience muscle. I'm, I'm working it out. But in the end, it helps you because then, then you don't react to silly stuff. You don't overreact to silly stuff when you have a big enough patience muscle, right? So here's another thing and it's a health issue. So if you say, oh, I come from a long line of diabetics and I'm talking about diabetes too. Um, and when I worked in a hospital, you know, I saw a lot of diabetics and I saw how cruel that disease is. Like, I didn't realize how cruel it was until I worked around it. And I felt horrible because I thought I was so under-informed about how evil this disease can be. Like, it wreaks havoc on your body. But diabetes, too, can be reversed in a lot of people. And it also can be prevented, you know, by watching your diet and exercise or if you're overweight you know like lose some weight and exercise like it really can be reversed or better managed but you know do your own research don't take my word for it but really like it's a cruel cruel disease and it's something that you don't have to say just wait around and get it because your whole family has it no break the cycle then you teach your kids and your grandkids a whole different cycle you know a healthier cycle and by the way, men, just in case you didn't know, diabetes screws up your circulation in our bodies, right? So what organ on your body needs a lot of circulation? Mr. You-Know-Who, right? And if Mr. You-Know-Who doesn't have enough circulation, what happens, right? He can no longer do anything. So diabetes is not nice, especially not to men or the men of those or the women of those men. <laughs> so, you know, not making light of it, but you know, sometimes doctors don't tell you that. But it really is something that can be reversed or prevented. So, just do your own research. Don't take my word for it. But the cool thing about all these things, guys, is like we have cell phones now. We can we can change our life right where we are no matter what age, like 
by the palm of our hands with our cell phones. You don't have to go anywhere. We don't have to reach out to anyone. We don't have to do anything. We just have to do the work. And you can do this. You can do it at any age. And if you say, I'm too old to change, well, guess what? You're stubborn. Put stubborn on your list. Because you can change. You can. We all can. So go, go out of this life you know with a fight don't lay down and just take it like come on live your life live it you know you you have like such beauty and power inside of you you have no idea but you just have to tap it you know do, do some research write these words down or what would you like to upgrade write those things only you know what they are drink more water every day I don't you know whatever it is you need to do only you know like I know for me, I, I needed to drink more water every day. I still do. I started and then I stopped. I started and I stopped. But you know, just like we all have things that we could do more of. But you have that ability and I just want you to live the happiest, best version of your life. Whatever that looks like. And you can do it. And if you have any questions, please reach out. You can message me anything. I'll be happy to help. But really guys you can do it and when you upgrade yourself you upgrade your whole life honestly you know you have that power we all do you don't have to be stuck in the same old same old all right so thank you for watching prayers to all my first responders out there prayers to my family and friends know that i love you guys and i thank you thank you thank you for always watching me please click like and share if it was helpful but Till we meet again. Bye. Mwah.